Hello everybody, Maggie Lou here from Life Bottle, and today we're going to show you how to patch Tales of Hearts R Infinite Evolve. This patch does work on both the dub and sub version of the game on emulator, so you can play on either version you want. Alright, so the first three things we're going to need for this setup is a PKG file and a work.bin of the game. Our patcher as well, which all three of those you can find right here. And of course, we're going to need the Vita 3K emulator. Here's what the normal emulator folder looks like. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and start that up. Click on here. We're going to go ahead and log into the file of a user of the emulator. We're going to go to the Files tab and hit install.pkg. We're going to select our PKG file right here. All right, then we're going to select work.bin right here, which will be this one we select right here. So then this is going to decrypt the game for you. After this is done, it's going to automatically close Vita 3K. You're going to reopen Vita 3K, do the same thing, log in. This time we're going to go to file, we're going to go open preferred path. We're going to go click on this file right here. Go into the app folder. Go into this folder right here. Alright, and then we're going to take the eboot.bin and the toh data. We're going to go ahead and copy those files. We're going to go to our patcher folder. Click that, go into the patcher, and then we're going to go into the game folder. And then we're going to paste those two files right in here. And here we have our three patchers right here. The first one you're going to want to run right here. Let it do its thing. And then there's two different patchers. There's one for the English dub and there's one for the Japanese subtitle one. You can do either one you want depending on which version you're using. You don't have to do both. In this case, we're going to do the dub one, so we're going to do that and let it do its thing. Alright, so then we're going to, once we're done with that, we're going to take the resulting eboot and toh data. We are going to find the folder that we want to put them back in. going to be right in here. We're going to paste those right in here. And after that, you should be good to go. So we're going to go ahead and start up our emulator. And we're going to start up Tales of Hearts R Infinite Evolve. I'll make sure to protect you. Namco. And here's Tales of Hearts R Infinite Evolve. Have fun with the game, everyone.